Hello, I am Dr. Neha Rathi. I am cornea cataract and refractive surgery consultant at the Eye Foundation Super Speciality Eye Hospitals. Today, I would like to brief out on the preoperative assessment of laser refractive surgery. To select a good candidate for laser refractive surgery, it is very essential to go through a structured examination. At first, the detailed history from the patient is taken. Patient should inform the doctor about any prior disease or any prior eye disease which the patient has. Also, if the patient is on any eye drops or any prior systemic history, like if any significant disease the patient has is to be informed to the doctor. Also, any ongoing medication, like any medication for acne, like Accutane, if the patient is taking, should be uh, informed to the doctor. This history is very important because of the post-operative healing of the surgery. The profession is very important in the laser refractive surgery. Any profession like in sports or in police is to be informed to the doctor because accordingly the refractive surgery is selected for the patient. Coming to the family history, if any significant disease in, runs in the family is to be informed to the doctor which is very important. Any disease like keratoconus uh, can exaggerate the situation even more after laser refractive surgery and such diseases are strictly contraindicated for the laser refractive surgery. So the patient should be well aware to inform the doctor if any significant disease runs in the family. So coming to the preoperative assessment, at first a detailed power evaluation is done for the patient so that the exact power is calculated. Then the patient is taken for the cornea scan. Cornea scan is one of the most important examination before laser refractive surgery. At first, the uh, curvature of the cornea is seen, then the thickness of the cornea is seen. According to the curvature and the thickness of the cornea, the particular uh, procedure is selected for the patient. After the cornea scan, the patient is taken for slit lamp examination and the nerve examination. In the slit lamp examination, any disease in the front of the eye is first addressed and taken care of before the laser refractive surgery. For example, if the patient has any dry eyes or any problem in the lids, is to be addressed first and managed first before laser refractive surgery. After that, a detailed nerve examination is done. Any abnormality in the nerves is first taken care by the retina specialist and then only we can proceed for the laser refractive surgery. After this, the patient is taken in the room for the detailed examination of dry eyes Prior to surgery, the evaluation of dry eyes is essential because the chances of dry eye increases post-surgery. So we have to evaluate it before itself and need to manage it before the laser refractive surgery. Thank you so much.